Okay, without further delay, we are going to speak with Jeremy on line three. How are you, sir? Pretty good, Jonathan. How are you? Fantastic. Now, you are a Newfoundlander, Jeremy, and I believe you are one of my uh, callers who are calling from uh, outside of the province. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm here in Halifax. Fantastic. So uh, last night or we had Brooklyn and we had Ontario, and tonight we have Nova Scotia. Welcome to the show. Yeah, you're locally known and internationally respected, I guess. I don't know about respected, but uh, known. <laughs> Now, uh, yeah. you want to weigh in on the Paul Lane issue? Well, yeah, I mean, I had a big spiel done up, and I guess that's all gone out the window now that Dunderdale's resigning. Um, I guess, well, for me anyway, having uh, Lane step down like he did, was I kind of foresaw as a straw that would break the camel's back. Um, I'm, As you know, I follow Newfoundland politics on Twitter. It's probably mm-hmm. the weirdest, most boring hobby you could have. But on there... Uh, Some people I mean, collect Barbies. Oh, well, that's true. It's not quite that weird, but it's close. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, Paul was so vocal. I mean, he was a pit bull for the past couple of years, uh, backing Dunderdale on every issue, uh, tearing down the opposition parties whenever he could. And for him to go and jump ship and just go right aboard with the liberals yesterday, first, it just reeks of opportunism for him. And it just showed how badly in shape the PC party really is. It certainly is a, a one perspective that is the strongest perspective, that uh, if one of the uh, most stalwart defenders of the Premier uh, mm-hmm. uh, acts on either conscious, um, acts out as, as, as an opportunity or an act of conscience uh, to move to mm-hmm. another party, it does speak volumes. And I suppose uh, it was indeed a very long plane ride for the Premier uh, to come home and, and make this decision. Yeah, it certainly couldn't have been fun. And I mean, uh, I don't fault Lane for leaving the party, but for him to be so vocal and so extreme in his support for the Premier and to just jump and completely cross the aisle to go to what looks like the government waiting now. I, I mean, I think the PCs are done, but who knows? It's new flam politics. Anything could happen any day. Well, I, uh, we figured that yeah. out tonight. I would say two years was, would be a long time, but after tonight, it uh, looks like a, a more likely one year will be still a long time in politics, particularly in no doubt. politics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Very uh, much so. And, yeah. well, like I said, that's about all I have to say. Everything else, I mean, it speaks for itself. Thunderdale is done, and it's going to be an interesting few months for sure. It certainly is. And, Jeremy, uh, let's touch base maybe next week, and we'll we'll discuss the, the fallout. No doubt, Jonathan. Keep up the good work, man. You're doing a great job. Fantastic. And uh, thank you very much for that compliment, and uh, it's great to hear your voice. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Jeremy Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think I do. All right. Yeah. All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> All right, a little uh, Twitter promo there for my friend uh, Jeremy Rumbolt. Um, it's almost like having a streaker uh, run through a baseball field.